Hi there, uh, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to create bullet impacts on a solid wall. Uh, this is something that I wanted to do myself and it took me a long time to try and work out how to do it with any degree of realism. So uh, let's get started and uh, you'll find the, the process is very simple. Um, for this tutorial uh, I'm going to be using Cinema 4D uh, which is release 12 and I'm also going to be using a plugin called Throwsy, uh which is right here if you type in Throwsy in Google uh, or in YouTube you'll find the link it's by a guy called Nitro Man it's free to download it's a great plugin so I recommend it so uh, let's get started the first thing I'm going to do is create a cube and we'll just resize this cube to something which looks a little bit more like a wall okay great the next thing we're going to do is add something into our scene which is a floor so we're going to go to the objects scene and then floor and we'll just uh, change the view mode here and let's just move the floor down to the bottom of the wall okay great and let's go back into the perspective view so now we have our cube and our floor not really very exciting so what we need to do now is with the floor we need to add a tag to that floor so we go to simulation dynamics create rigid body uh, just a word about that you can also find in different versions of cinema 4d the rigid body tag uh, by going to the cinema 4d tags and then there'll be one that says dynamics or uh, MoGraph and you'll find it in there uh, but anyway that's not what we've done there so now we've got our floor with our rigid body and we've got our cube so let's add the plugin Throwsy. so let's go to plugins Throwsy, and Throwsy, which is the top one and now we have our new window now the first thing that we need to do uh, which is on the first tab up here is we need to change this from random to Voronoi I think that's how you pronounce it uh, okay and this just gives a much more realistic uh, shatter I, I feel uh, let's change the pieces and let's bump the pieces up to around 90 that looks good and click break now and you can see the percentage calculating at the bottom of the screen here doesn't really take too long but again it will depend on the specs of your computer <sighs> boring boring okay here we go okay great so now we can just uh, get rid of Throwsy for now and uh, you can see that we now have this cube with a lot of different breaks what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the display to lines because you can actually see the breaks a little bit better there okay so now we have our wall with all these different breaks and if we actually click on the play button at the bottom here you can see that the wall will instantly fall apart which is not what we want we want a bullet hit so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select a portion of the wall which we want to fall apart so we're going to go to our select tool up here we'll highlight the cube let's zoom in a little bit and let's choose let's choose this one right here okay so now this is the part that we want to actually fall out of the wall now at the moment it's one piece so we need to do something about that so with this part of the wall selected we need to go back into our uh, object up here which says the uh, cube throwsy we're going to open it up and we're going to find the highlighted piece and we're going to drag it outside of that object just like that and now if we play you can see that that one piece stays in place doesn't do anything that's not what we want either so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to stop this main wall from crumbling right when we hit play and the way that we do that is we select this object uh, then the attributes window we're going to make sure that the dynamic body uh, tab is selected and we're going to change the trigger from immediately to at velocity peak and now if we play nothing happens great that's what we want so now we're going to get our piece right here and rather than having one piece fall out the wall we're going to have lots of pieces so we're going to repeat the process we're going to go back to plugins throw C throw C again make sure that it's not on random because they come out like triangular shapes it's not very realistic uh, so we need to select this option again and let's change the shapes up to around 48 pieces mm, let's do more than that let's do around 98 pieces and click break now and again you can see that it starts to work its magic uh, although it's a much smaller piece obviously there's a lot more pieces to be done within that smaller piece so it still takes 
a little bit of time. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, that didn't taste very nice. Okay, so now let's get rid of Throusy again. And when we press play now, you can see that we start to have the makings of a bullet hit within the wall. But there's a few things here that don't look right, so we're going to change them. The first one is when the pieces hit the floor, they look like they're sliding out, like the floor is made of ice or a very slippery surface. And that's not really very realistic, so we need to do something about that. So go back up to the objects window. Uh, we're going to click the floor, uh, make sure that the dynamics body is selected, and you're going to see that we have bounce, friction, collision, noise. I'm not going to do anything with the collision noise at the moment, but I'm going to turn the bounce. Uh, here way down all the way to nothing I'm going to turn the friction all the way up just pick a high number I'm just going to pick 460 and you'll see now when it when I press play it falls out and it pretty much just stays on the floor much more realistic so now the other th the other thing that happens is, is when a bullet hits a wall the pieces don't just casually fall out of the wall there's some impact so we need to add something in there to make that impact happen and we're not going to animate anything, we're not going to animate a bullet hitting the wall or anything like that. It's too complicated for what we need to do. There is an easier way, I feel. So we're going to go back up to our objects here and I'm going to select a sphere. And now that I've selected my sphere, I'm going to scale it down to something which is roughly the size of the brake. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. So now that we've done that, if we press play again, nothing happens it's exactly the same as before so with the sphere selected we need to go back to simulation go to dynamics and create rigid body now we can still see the sphere and let's do something about that so next to the sphere in the objects window you need to click the first one here twice until it goes red and that means that it disappears from the preview window and if you click the second one twice it means that it disappears from the render window so if I render now you can see all we get is a wall where if I actually turn this off and render we get a sphere not that's not what we want so make sure that you double click this twice okay great and because we've added that rigid body uh, tag to the sphere when we play this now the pieces of this wall are going to interact with the sphere causing them to shoot out the walls so let's try that there you go just like that now in order to play around with the size of the explosion all you need to do is select the sphere and basically just scale down the sphere you can see if we scale this right the way down and let's just move it forward a little bit like this and then press play there you go it's a uh, much less exaggerated which is much more realistic um, now in order to really sell the effect obviously you need to do the render settings which I'm not going to go into in this video uh, and also obviously it adds um, a lot more realism where once you've actually uh, exported this um, with your correct com um, com uh, compositing settings uh, then take it into After Effects add some smoke maybe some sparks and you'll start to have something which is you know really quite usable um, I'm gonna put an example of this where it's been used quite well it's by some guys called Corridor Digital and look out for their video which is called how to shoot your friends and there's a great example in there of a sniper shooting a post which is where I initially got this uh, idea so uh, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful Thanks for watching.